What up, y'all? This your boy Dre Hall. This your girl Cash. Back with another video. Yes, we are. Yes, Back we with are. some new Andrew Tate, mm -hmm. gang, man. Hey, we got what we got for y'all today is we got 10 minutes of Piers Morgan trying to set Andrew Tate up and failing. Y'all know how that's been going, man. People trying to set Andrew Tate up, it ain't gonna work, man. Right. You always got a good comeback for you. So if y'all new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smack that bell, and um let's get into it. Let's go. Should my young men that all aspire to be like you? Should young men aspire to work very hard, have yeah. no criminal record, become multimillionaires, yeah. protect and provide for the women close to them, uh, be sovereign so they can stand up and have their own points of view and face a cancellation, be able to not okay. be mentally intimidated when they go on national TV and there's traps set up for them. Yeah, I believe that confident, <laughs> strong men for real. who stand up and protect and provide for women are a good thing for the world and a good force for the world. And I don't think that I put a magic spell on anybody. I think there's a whole bunch of men in the world who understands my value. And if, if men grow up to be like exactly. me, you're gonna have a whole bunch of people with no criminal record, dedicated athletes, who protect and provide for the people close to them, are fantastic for the economy. And we're and I'm not I'm certainly not the worst influence out here, Piers. For real. You have little Nas twerking on the devil on music videos, which our children are digesting. You have uh, drill art is singing about stabbing people to death in the middle of a knife crime epidemic. You have that's what I, I agree with him about that. Like mm -hmm. that little Nas thing when he was dancing and doing all that and video about the devil and stuff and the drill music and different stuff like that. But you got a person like that strong like Andrew Tate mm -hmm. is out here telling you to get off your ass, do this and do that. If you want to get this, you need to do this and you need to be this kind of way. Right. But you don't y'all praise the other kind of stuff. Because you know why? They don't want that for the men to do. They don't want that to like get up off their ass and actually do stuff with their lives because that don't get praised. That really don't get praised at all. Too actually, people, people getting successful and and having stuff, they don't want that. Oh, yeah. They just want you to be. They want you to be your brain to be all discombobulated, yeah. and crazy stuff, and taking that kind of stuff in instead mm -hmm. of that. Instead of that, yeah. That's real. Drill art is singing about stabbing people to death in the middle of a knife crime. That's happening. what they want. Mm -hmm. You have. The rabid uh, psychopaths on whether the right or the left announcing violence on the other side. You have all these insanities in the world. And because I sit here and say, I, yeah, perhaps, now you've, you've laid it out and it offended you, I understand. I just said offended. Okay, cool. I just read you the things. You read things that you said they could be offensive and some people are offended. Well, some people definitely were offended. Absolutely. That's fine. And I, seem offended. I think some of the things you said were genuinely offensive and misogynist. Okay, so they offended you. I, like I, exactly. So like I said earlier, mm -hmm. so they offended you, no, which is on. fine. I said they offended you and you interrupted me, and now you're saying they offended you, yeah. which is fine. And the, But the point I'm trying to make is this. I'm not the devil. There are certainly worse people than me, and, I don't and they exist. And, and I'm saying that my core tenets for the people who don't understand me are self-accountability, because I'm accountable for everything I've ever said. My core tenets are responsibility, so I'm responsible for everything I've said. My core tenets are traditional masculinity to a degree, which involves protecting and providing for women. And I'll make another point. Mm -hmm. Another point here that's very, very, that's very, that needs to be said. The number of women who have stood up and stuck up for me is ignored. Thousands of women are making videos saying, I've met Andrew Tate, he's such a nice guy. I wish I had a man like Andrew Tate who mm -hmm. felt responsible to protect and provide for me. You know what? I, I do belong to my husband. That's why I married him and I love him. We ignore the thousands of women who stood up and, and, and stood by me and said everything I said is true. And we're taking a very vocal minority who have taken the things I've said and are pretending to be absolutely and utterly devastated by Twisted. them. Mm -hmm. But there was also, I think, quite a disturbing piece that BuzzFeed did. And it talked about the, the negative impact of young, impressionable male minds when they've read or seen some of the more inflammatory things you've said. And they quoted, for example, Sandy, uh, 22, from Washington. My father's gone from a man who minored in women's studies in college, who was kind and in touch with his emotions, treated all people, men and women around him with kindness, to a man who says that whenever he sees an effeminate male stranger, he gets an overwhelming urge to murder. He loves podcasts, he listens to a lot of podcasts, and he always listens to Andrew Tate. Whoa, 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 let's stop for a second. Let's be professional here, Piers, because you're a professional as yeah. I. First she said, did you say that my father went? She said, my father has a father. That's a full-grown man, mm -hmm. firstly. So we're talking about my impact on children. You just talk about full-grown man here. Right. Secondly, I've never talked about murdering effeminate men in anything never online, heard that. ever. Never. On, in any context, ever. So I don't know why they have taken some random person I've never met in the world who's full-grown, an adult, and come to their own conclusions who I've never met and lumped his name in with mine. That is absolutely unfair on set them up. I didn't, mm -hmm. I, didn't read this Buzzfeed. I didn't read this BuzzFeed article, mm -hmm. but after hearing the first point, I know it's trash. That is complete 
garbage. What is, the, saying, what is I'm the you? reason this man believes what he believes. Well, I've seen a quote from you, and you can tell me what you feel about this. Sure. You talk mm -hmm. about people don't want to see men dressed up in dressed, I transgender. That's people. not exactly what I said. I said, said, what did you say? I said the reason I am so popular and I'm so famous is that there's a large contingent of men who don't want to wear makeup, who still want to make money, go to the gym, be strong, drive a fast car, be traditionally masculine, and don't want to be shamed for that, and they don't want to be called toxic for that. That is the reason I'm so massively famous. That is what I said. What do you think of okay. transgender people? It's nothing to do with me. I'm not transgender, and I don't understand the issue like that. That's why he's trying to set them up. Like, what what does that have to do with transgender people for real? Because he didn't say nothing about them. Exactly. So that's how they. That's you how they how that try triggers. to set you up. So they try to twist your words up, mm -hmm. just so they can make him look like a bad guy. Any but he little, wasn't even talking about that. Any little piece that he says. They have flipped that they around, like you say, around. and turn that into something yep. big. It caused everybody to be against him. Yeah, and that's not going to happen. Be famous, that is what I said. What do you think of transgender people? Uh, it's nothing to do with me. I'm not transgender, and I don't understand the issue like they do. They so are you transphobic? Do you, uh, do you consider yourself that? Transphobic? What, well, I'm afraid? What? Another um, thing. Mm-hmm. I mean to stop it again. But that phobic thing. Mm -hmm. Transphobic or homophobic or uh, fatophobic type stuff. It's like you to say, am I afraid? Phobic means afraid. Where did they get this transphobic and stuff from? Like you're scared of people that's that like the same sex or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. Where did they get that from? That phobic part from? That's what I want to know. Maybe they got a different meaning to it. Because phobic and I know is a fear. The definition of. I look up is the fear, but maybe they have a different meaning of a, the trans, you know, homophobic and transphobic and fatophobic. You know, oh, they probably have a phobic. different meaning, but. That's just like, why are you trying to set them up, though? That's just crazy. Right. Because you yourself up? Transphobe, well, I'm afraid. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, we kind of, yeah. Uh, you I, don't live in, I don't live in fear, my friend. I, and I, and I have no problem. Do you have a dislike of transgender people? I don't know any transgender people. Do you have a dislike of what they stand for, what they are? He just no, said he did. not I? I don't know. That's What's not my you? issue. That's not my issue. I think there's a large contingent of men who are not interested in the things that perhaps the YouTube algorithm is trying to feed I them. Think they also, I think Look, when you support masculinity and masculine traits, I'm with you, right? Okay, so you agree a man should protect and provide for a woman? Uh, absolutely. Okay, so you agree if you were walking down the street with a woman, you'd be, you'd be responsible with her safety? Sure. Uh, yeah. Cool, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if that woman wanted to walk alone... I don't think right? I have authority over the woman right. as we do that. Okay, so let me ask you another who question. Who said that? Because we are professionals. Let's say your woman decided she wants to take a nice little walk through the south side of Chicago at 2 a.m., and she wanted you to go with her, and you were responsible for fighting and dying on the spot if she was attacked. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you would say to her, "No, we're not we're going to right now." Smart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you'd have authority to make the decision. So no, we so I would make, say so I don't think you should. If she decides to, it's her own volition. Well, if she decides, you're not going to stop her. I have her. no power to stop her. Completely. But you think you do? No, I don't think I have power you to stop her. Didn't say no, that. I think I have power to make the decision. I think no, that's not sensible. So if you have the power to make the decision, you have the power to stop her. Uh, no, because and that's she... where we differ. That's why I think it's interesting about you. Come on, Peter. I don't Peter. think you really think through what you're saying. I think through what I'm saying because so carefully. Yeah, but Andrew, Peter's. what you literally just said is that you have the power to stop no, her. No, I said I don't have the power to stop her. I'm not going to lock her in the room. I'm saying that... So she a, wants to go on her own. Then she's going to go. Then exactly. But you have authority to stop okay, her. Okay, but as a couple, if we're going to sit there and decide if we're going to take this... You asked me, Douglas, would I feel a sense of responsibility for her safety? Absolutely. Agree. Absolutely. So, so let, let me finish Spears. power or authority to stop her doing it? No, no, of course not. So let me finish Spears. You're not going to stop her walking out the hotel. Of course, it's her decision. Right. She's a sovereign individual. Mm. My point is that usually in a couple, people have... You sit there as a team and you discuss, and perhaps on certain issues, the woman will know more about X and she'll decide X, and the man might know more about Y and he'll decide Y. So I'm saying if we're as a couple and we're sitting there and deciding, as a couple, as a team, mm. and she says she wants to take this late night stroll, I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to veto this one. I'm going to call veto. Do you believe it's dangerous? Right. Which to a degree would give me, in that particular scenario, a degree of authority. If she said, I don't want to listen to you, Andrew. It doesn't give you authority. I, if she says, I don't want to listen to you, Andrew, I want to go on that walk. Then what can I do? So no. well, then I, and you I don't have authority. Well, right. I hope I wish you the best. I mean, my love. Then you don't have authority. Cool. Then it's Your the peers is a hater. He just said I he personally have... think Andrew dropped the ball on that point. He could easily have said that if he's getting into a traditional marriage where him as the man is expected to perform his traditional duties, such duties which include protection, he has to have a degree of authority over her actions and movements because if he has zero authority over what she does and how she lives then he should also have zero responsibility but if we are being honest even in the west men are still expected to be responsible for women 
the fact that after a divorce, a man is expected to pay alimony to his wife and child support for his kids is enough to let you know that even though the society takes away the power that a man should naturally have in his family and in his marriage, they still leave him with the responsibility. A clinically depressed person has a, a absolutely proven medical condition that is beyond their control. Not according to me and many others, my friend. Well, look, what do you know about it, honestly? Who do you I know? know? I know you're not a doctor, you're not trained, are you? I'm not a doctor. You're not a psychiatrist, you're not one of those things. If you feel depressed, I disagree that you cannot affect it and change your life and take control and fix yourself and feel happier. I disagree with do that. You think, do you think... I, I, re I refuse to accept that there are people out there who cannot become happy, contented individuals. I refuse to accept we live in a world where God is creating people who no matter how hard they work and how good their life becomes, mm. can't be happy. Mm. I don't accept that. I accept right. that the universe is a very given place mm -hmm. and that God loves all of us. And if you try your best and you work hard, you can become a better person. And exactly. I also will argue yeah. with you, and I'll counter the point, that you sitting here on your platform telling people they have clinical depression and there's nothing they can do about it is far more dangerous. That. Okay, well then, if they have clinical why depression... Do you why do you misquote them? No, why do you misquote them? Exactly. If somebody has depression of any kind, whether it's clinical, whether it exists or not, whether they feel depressed or not, whatever, that taking control of their life, taking personal responsibility, working hard is always going to be the positive, best thing they can possibly do for their life going forward. How positive going is it? Them. How so sitting here saying, I don't believe in clinical depression, you don't believe in depression. No, I don't. I believe that people can take control and fight against things. Right. I believe in personal sovereignty. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Fine. Good. So we agree. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. He, 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 just, side, afraid of being he, he just don't want to agree with him for nothing. He's a he don't hater. He, he can be right, but he just don't want to agree. He don't yeah, care. He he's not something. he's not listening to what he's saying. He he's listening, talk. but he's not listening. He's he just ready to talk. talk and it's like, uh uh, I don't agree with you what you're saying. Yeah. So we agree. No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Fears are on my side. Afraid of being canceled along with me. Alex Jones said that Sandy Hook didn't happen. It was staged by actors. Okay. This compounded the appalling grief. Of the families of those poor 20 children okay. who were gunned to pieces by a lunatic with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. They were already grief-stricken beyond belief, and this guy poured petrol onto that grief quite deliberately to make a huge amount of money from his info wars, fake news bullshit. And as a result, a lot of the families have now sued him, and they've won, and he's going to have to pay back tens, maybe hundreds of millions of dollars in damages to these families, and quite right, it won't do anything about the pain he caused them. Some of them actually had people turn up outside their houses with guns because Alex Jones had told them that these parents were making it all up. They were all staged actors. It was all run by the government. So I simply say to you, now I've told you that, what is your view of Alex Jones? Mm -hmm. I don't see why any of that has to do with me. I, 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 it's very interesting. I've done the guy's podcast. I know him well. He was professional and courteous to me. When I meet somebody and they show me respect, I show them back. Respect. That's what right. I do, as I did with you. You respect him? I, if somebody shows me respect, I show them you respect back. Okay. Okay. I don't okay. know. I don't think that shows you respect, you respect him back. If at the, that's a stupid question. It's not. It's a logical extension of your argument. No, if, if in 1931 I was walking through Germany and a man come up to me and said, sorry for bumping into you, I'd say, sorry, no problem, mate. I'd show respect back. What if, I don't know. What, what are you trying to say? That, I, that I sanction the Holocaust? You literally just said, if somebody respects you, you respect them back. I say, if somebody shows me respect, I show respect back. That's a good way to go through life. Whoever it is. If somebody shows me respect and is courteous to me, I'm courteous back. Yeah. I can you respect somebody. He's just trying to get him to say something. To I have no idea the specifics of the thing you're discussing. I don't understand any of it. Well, when I don't know anything about it. You've you told me your version of events. When times you went on Alex Jones' podcast, correct? Right. Promoting him, helping him make money. I don't money. think it was promoting and helping him because. Well, it's his podcast. Well, yeah, but I've been on the podcasts of people who absolutely hate me. I've been on liberal left wing podcasts. I've been on feminist That's podcasts. Fine. And no, you just sat here saying I'm, a, I'm, I'm. I would like you to agree. Perhaps we can agree on this point that I'm not a feminist. I go on feminist podcasts. I do a podcast circuit. I You're not five, feminist? I don't know. What do you I, think what do you think a feminist is? Well let's not yeah, change the subject. Has, here. Yeah, he can't say that. You mentioned feminism. Yeah, you're trying, to, you see, you're you trying to get away from the point because yeah. what you did is you're trying to say because I did a podcast, I sanction all of this person's views. And I'm saying I do five podcasts no, a week. I do five that, podcasts a week and I don't sanction hundred percent of the views of any other person on the planet. Because I'm an individual, and he has an individual views, as right. do you. So I don't know why you're trying to come at me with one of his views and pretend that's something to do with it's me. It's a pretty big view. No, but it's, 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 it's a lame views. trick, Piers, and you're better than this. So let's trick. move on. You're sitting here, Piers, saying that I'm on Uncensored Show, and in your intro you said that it's important that we don't have echo chambers and we have varying, Correct. And that we have varying opinions. Correct. But then you're saying the people you don't like, you wouldn't go on their podcast. No, no. So you are a hypocrite. No, no. I don't, <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't go on anybody's podcast and I don't think you understand. any point. I don't, when Peter, did you ask you on his Peter, podcast? You trying to lump me in and attack me for a person whose podcast I do having a view is absolutely childish. Because, okay. Because I've done a bunch of podcasts with so people. You would do a podcast. I've done a bunch of podcasts with people who are advocating for things okay. that I do not agree with on every single level. In fact, most of my podcasts are me disagreeing with people. So it's completely crazy that you're trying to lump me in with that. That's, that's cheap. I that's you, cheap. You are. I'm here on your show. I'm providing you with content. You're giving me a platform. And nobody's using each other. It's mutual. We don't agree on a whole bunch of issues. Mm -hmm. And here we are. I think just had like, a robust exchange. Yeah, just like I've done on nearly every other podcast. And for, if someone were to come and say to me in the future, it's something, heaven forbid, mm -hmm. there's a skeleton in your closet. Mm -hmm. And someone were to come to me and say, you were on Piers Morgan's show. Did you know he's X or he's done X? I would say that's absolutely nothing to do with me. Exactly. Right. Right. That's I made the same point protecting exactly. you. I don't, I don't know what you do. I don't know your personal life. Dang. Dang. Yeah, points now. Morgan tried to. He trying to say it. He trying to say it up for the. Throw him in front of us. Dude. We gotta understand. Like Andrew T, gonna say what he want to say, man. Whether people agree with him or don't agree with him, he's gonna still say what he's going to say. Like you can set him up all he wants to, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Then he trying to say something about him being on that podcast with the person who made up that thing with the school shooting. He said it was all fake. Yeah. I mean, why do he even have a podcast? Who's supporting him? If Ooh, you want to get on, get on him, on Andrew T, who's supporting the podcast? Exactly. If he, you know what I mean? Like, it's just all yeah, politics. Yeah. It's just, ugh. All yeah. mixed up and crazy. But y'all get down there and let us know how y'all feel about this video right here. 10 minutes appears Morgan trying to set up Andrew T and ended up failing. Y'all know what to do. Like this video. Subscribe mm -hmm. to the channel. Cut the bell on. Until the next one, we catch y'all. Catch you next one.